Hi everyone, I'm Raj and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a seamless carousel post in Adobe Photoshop. We will use Illustrator as well for some small things, okay, but uh, mostly we will focus on Photoshop and how to make it in Photoshop, how to make it seamless, okay. So uh, first thing first, uh, we have to know how many posts we can post uh, in a, in one carousel post. There are uh, basically 10 maximum posts that you can post in a carousel post. So I'm going to show you how to make 10 posts. You can uh, sh uh, shorten it down according to your uh, need. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go to create and uh, here we will select pixels and I'm going to set the width to 1080 and the height to 1350 because this is the portrait size. Okay. This is the portrait size of uh, Instagram. Now, Make sure when you are writing the width, you have to multiply it with the number of posts you want to uh, want to post in one carousel post. So for, for now, I'm going to uh, dial in uh, 10 because I want to make 10. I want to post 10 carousel posts in width. So multiplied by 10, it gives us 10800 and orientation will be landscape. Color mode will be RGB and um, make sure your uh, resolution is set to pixels per inch and I'm going to set it uh, to 300 dpi. Now, why am I making it 300 dpi? Because uh, when we will export our images in, because if we export it in 72 dpi and if we post it, Instagram will automatically compress it, you know, in Instagram compresses your image and it will look very dull and hazy. Okay. Uh, so for that, I've taken 300 dpi. Instagram is anyhow, it's going to compress your image. So let's click on create and here we have it we have our page created right now let's remove these things I don't want it okay now uh, what we will do here look carefully now first we will go to view and select this option new guide layout okay and here in column sections make the gutter margin as zero and the number of uh, columns as 10 the, the number of posts you want to make uh, dial in that number okay if you want to make it 8 2 or 3 or 4 or whatever it is you're gonna dial it that number over here okay margin we will not uh, put in right now and hit okay now now you can see our page is divided in um, equal 1080 uh, sections okay there are 10 sections you can count it there are 10 sections and uh, the entire size of this is 10800 okay now when we will export this this will be exported as a single image so we don't want it we want to uh, we want to slice the images okay so for that i'm going to go to this uh, crop tool option press and hold and you will get this option as slice tool okay click on this slice tool and click on the slices from guides it's going to slice the pages in into guides now this is now sliced when we will export this this will export it, be exported as uh, separate images okay now what we have to remember over here that we have to keep that safe margin 1080 by 1080 or the one is to one margin okay so that when we post it in our feed in our instagram feed it uh, won't show um, you know it, it, it won't get clipped Okay, so we don't want it to clip. We want the design to show uh, as it is in the um, in the feed in our in our feed of the uh, Instagram, right? So for that, we will set that one zero eight zero times one zero eight zero safe margin because Instagram shows the images in our feed in in a square in the form of a square post, right? So we will go to view again, and I will click on this uh, new guide layout, and here now I'll uncheck this. Uh, columns option and I'll check this rows option here I will dial in two because we want the two margins okay so we will dial in two and here I will set the gutter margin to 1080 now here you can see I have set the uh, safe margin okay now now we will add some header elements over here so for that let's apply a single color over here I'm gonna go to adjustment layers and click on solid colors and now let's set the color to somewhat like this okay or maybe yellow I like yellow yes let's set it to yellow and hit ok ok now in illustrator I have already made these header elements I'm gonna take the take this and just paste it right over there so how, how will I do that I will turn off the eyes of the other layers and only I will turn on the eye of this layer ok this layer is the header elements 
Now I will press Ctrl Shift Alt S and this is going to open up the Save for Web dialog box. From here, I will select PNG24. From here, I'll select PNG24 as well. Now make sure this transparency is checked. Otherwise, you will get that ba white background. Okay, so make sure the transparency is checked. And now we're going to click on Save and save it in our desktop. Uh, I already have a folder 4x made over there. I'm going to name it as header. Okay, and save it. Okay, let's go to the desktop. Let's open up this file and we have this over here. Just drag it and leave it on top of this and hit enter. Now press Ctrl A from the keyboard and select the move tool and press horizontally align center and vertically align center. Okay, this will align the header elements in the proper places. Okay, now we can do the design over here in the middle. So here we have the safe margins. You can see these are the two uh, safe margins and between this we will do our design. So let's just take a random element from anywhere. I have some downloaded over here. So let's just take this one and put it. Okay. And somewhat like this, we will add in the element. Okay. Now let's apply some text. Um, let's select on a different font. I'm going to send in Khand. This is a very good font actually. And let's increase the size a bit. Okay. Now I'm going to make it all caps. For that, let's go to the type option and make it all caps. And here I'm going to type in uh, gift uh, item. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look nice. Okay. Uh, so, carousel post. Post. Okay. Here we have it. Carousel post. And make sure it is inside these safe margins right let's make it just carousel it looks nice i don't have content i'm really sorry guys so let's add a subheading for that i'm going to take this text tool and i'm going to make a small little text box and i'm going to change this font to acumen and acumen regular right and font size definitely i'm going to lower it and instead of making it all caps we will make it like this and let's lower the size and i'm gonna align it in the center this looks a bit bad let's okay now let's change the color of this to somewhat this one and let's apply a stroke on outside uh, kind of looks nice but we have to play around with this design okay i'm not showing you the design i'm just doing some random design you can figure it out on your own right make it a bit grayish and there we have it our nice little carousel post okay i'm not showing you the design i'm just doing some random design you can figure it out on your own right make it a bit grayish and there we have it our nice little carousel post and make sure you don't go beyond this margin otherwise it's going to clip, you know, when you will post it in the feed, it, it is going to clip. Okay, so it will look very bad. So don't go beyond this to margin. Okay, so now I will put in some elements in the middle. Let's say over here. And this is going to make it seamless. You know, when we will export it, this part will be exported as a, as a separate image and this part will be exported as a separate image. But when we will post it, it will make it seamless. It will make the carousel post seamless, right? So we just can design it like this. We just can design it and we will just export it. Now, how to export it? Just look at it. Control Shift Alt S. We will press and this will open up this save for web dialog box. 
okay now here make sure it is png and transparency is not checked okay you don't want the, the images to be transparent right so we will uncheck this transparency even if you check it it won't apply that transparency because there is already a background over there right so doesn't matter just click on save and select desktop here uh, make a folder let's say i'll make a folder where is it gone okay here and i'll name it as castle and open it and just name as one and save it it will take some time and it's done right now if we go to that folder we can find another folder which is images and inside that images we can find all the carousel posts over here right so let me open this up and you can see it has properly cut it from the edges right and it will look like this it will look like this when you will post it you will be able to understand what i am trying to say okay so let's now post it and see okay let's go to instagram and let's post it let's select the so i have it over here i'll open it open the images and let's select three of them and hit open and now you can see it is seamless okay see it's seamless okay now this is the way how you make carousel posts in adobe photoshop hope this tutorial helped you if it did then hit the like button and do consider subscribing this channel and don't forget to share it with your friends so that they will also know how to create carousel posts seamless carousel posts in adobe photoshop thanks a lot for watching goodbye